Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today we're not going to be doing any woodworking projects or what have you. Today we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful piece of gadget. The Logitech G602. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> well, they do actually much better than this. Uh, Logitech has this thing about mouse. Uh, they always tend to make things better every year. And uh, when I was buying this mouse, I thought they're never going to make a better mouse than this. So why don't I buy two? Thank God I didn't buy two because they just came out with the Logitech MX Master, which is a much better mouse than this. You know, this plywood doesn't look all too good. Let's fix that. Holy diddly. Yeah. Yeah, that looks much better. It looks like a fucking uh, product shoot now. Yeah. So there's a tip for you. If anything doesn't look good on camera, just add some African Paduke. Yeah. But all of you have that back in your garage or whatever. So the problem with these mice is they tend to lose their clicks. That means they start double clicking. And I don't feel like throwing away something because a small part of it doesn't work. Uh, this is a beautiful mouse and I want to give it away uh, to a friend of mine and uh, I want to fix it. So I got these switches from uh, eBay. They're Omron switches and they're relatively easy to find. Uh, and they're cheap. So in order for you to open this mouse, we're gonna have to open these uh, track pads or whatever, slide pads. Uh, they're very well rated. They're rated for about 200 kilometers of uh, running. Uh, no kidding there. It says it, that on their box, probably more. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's not going back together. Or is it? Well, it doesn't matter because it doesn't work. And a uh, gentleman better than me said, if it ain't broke, fix it until it's broke. Yeah, came right off. Just needed a little persuasion. Yep. I highly urge you to take these pads off along with the glue thingy because otherwise you won't be able to use them. Yeah. See? We're going to stick that back on there. Good and proper. Yeah, they're all coming out very easily now. It's like Jimmy DeResta said, you go to school on your first one and then you become a master with your last one. Am I a master? I don't know. We'll find out. I am a master. Fucking A man, let's go! Yeah, there she blows. All right. Let's, moment of truth. Whoa! Yeah, you better be careful with this or you're gonna break the mouse. Very carefully remove this clip, this retention clip. And yeah, I don't wanna apply too much force. Yeah, we got it. I'm a fucking surgeon. Take a look at this, I was just reading this. It says Thundercracker. What? They named their fucking boards or is this that some kind of a code for the mouse? It's, it's fucking hilarious. Logitech. Ah, you guys, you're so fucking funny. What do we have here? Uh, I can't read any of it, but yeah, it's an Atmel. We got a switch here which I'm guessing is the middle click this is your culprit this thing the left click this thing is okay this doesn't get any use uh, this is the one that fries you need to change that oh I am not feeling myself today I have a cold uh, to remove this assembly 
all you need to do is remove a screw from here and one from here. <laughs> Holy diddly. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Yeah, it's pretty rough for me today. Okay, let's remove this plug, which is what provides the power to the board. Come on. Okay. Yep. So it turns out we also have to remove this battery compartment. So we're going to do that right now. And to remove that, I think there's this one, two, and three screws. This is the on-off switch. Yeah, it goes right there. That's the lens for the what have you. And yeah, and battery compartment. And this is your motherboard. Damn you, son. What secrets do you hold? Okay, so there is your culprit, right there. So, we need to desolder one, two, and three. A few basic things that you might need is, well, a soldering iron, much like this, uh, some solder to fix on the new switch, uh, switches, obviously, and if you can't afford it, this thing. This is a solder pump. I'll show you how I use it. Basically, the idea is, oh, don't touch this. Oh, oh this thing is pissed. OK, uh, just touch the contact a little. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah and heat the solder up until it starts melting. Yeah. Let's do that gradually. Oh! Oh, whoops. Don't have a vice. Yeah, that thing is on there. I don't have a smaller soldering iron. Do not damage the board. Yeah, that thing is melting. Yeah. Let's get our soldering pump. Yep. And you just put this thing on there and press suck. Woohoo! We got the first one. Uh, time for the second and third. Whoops. Yeah, I am not yeah, helping anything at all here. This is bullshit. Okay. See that? And you just take this thing and boom. Yeah, that worked. Whoops. Yeah, that was close. Yeah. At this point, you're probably wondering, hey, I follow all your steps, but the damn thing's not coming out. Wow, you must be a hack or something. God, I really hope this works. What you do is you just touch your soldering iron right here, and you try to pull that part out. It's working so far. Yeah, almost got it. Yeah. Oh, thought I almost broke this thing. Uh, this is what's left of the switch. Uh, yeah. So, you know, if you're not sure about what you're doing, do it anyway. You'll learn something. Okay, so installing the switch should be pretty straightforward by the looks of how this is going <laughs> yeah I don't think this is gonna work but let's try it out anyway take the switch and take the button side keep the button side on top and 
attach the switch this is what we call dry fitting yeah you just let those prongs through fucking perfect I highly recommend these because if there's one thing that solder loves to do it's uh, yeah it flies right at you then you just blame the things around you and call it a day so why don't you just wear safety gagams yeah Oh, holy diddly. So it turns out it was out of focus throughout that time. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, the autofocus on my camera doesn't work. So, yeah, and we're done. Uh, let's put her back together and we're going to go home and find out if she chooches. Or have we gone and done fucked her up good and proper? All right, let's put her back together. Let's put the, whoops, <laughs> MC Needly. Uh, let's put the on off switch back first. MC Needly. I almost uh, sounded like Ned Flanders there. Yeah, Ned Flanders. Said guy from, you know who he is, you know, can't say their name, copyright and what have you. Okay, uh, let's put this thing on here. Yeah, don't worry, that'll center itself. Put the board back. Make sure you align the screw holes properly. Okay. You know, speaking of impressions, I can do one more voice from Family Guy. It's that guy, Cleveland. I think I can do it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can be a better judge. I like to do his voice. I like to say, These are my gripes. You know, and uh, the way he says it, it's just, it's so funny to me. I thought, why don't I try it saying it? And I was like, These are my gripes. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it needs a more nose or something. Who hung my grapes on the rope? Yeah. Yeah, went a little overboard here. Anyway, back to the studio. Let's put her back together. Piece by piece. One by one, I will take you. Yeah, sorry about that. It's from that movie, Evil Dead. Uh, I kind of like that movie, even though it was shit and what have you. Okay, let's make sure we don't put this backwards. Uh, yeah. I don't think we can. Uh, I think we got it. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. I love doing impressions. I think they're a fun form of comedy. You know, like Michael Caine. This is how Michael Caine speaks. It is low voice. But you were there, Master Bruce. She was only 16 at the time. You were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's that guy's name? Uh, who's in who's in the jungle book? Who's Shere Khan? But he's also like the boss of all Jaegers in Pacific Rim. Yeah, that guy. I'm forgetting his name. I think it's Idris Elba or something like that. Uh yeah, he yeah, I love doing a combination of all of his dialogues in one line. That man cub was a Jaeger, Mr. Odin said. Well, all the screws are in uh, for the battery compartment and the motherboard. Now we just got to be careful putting this in. Touch it carefully. How dare you touch the son of Odin? Okay. Uh, time for this thing to go back. You gotta put this ribbon cable 
with the writing on the outside. If your mouse is facing like this, and this is on top, it, it makes sense, right? Because this is straight. So yeah, let's put that in carefully. I think I got it. Uh, yeah, pretty much it. Okay. Let's close her up very carefully. Okay. That's not too difficult to do. Okay. And yeah, we'll just, yep. These are my screws, and I. Of course. Of course, these are my screws. Yeah. Buckley did. All right, she's done. Uh, now, to apply all of the pads again and give her some pixies and see if she still churches. Yeah, sorry, I fucked that up. Pretty sure I'm not the best electronics fixing guy out there. Pretty sure a lot of nerds are going, how dare he touches this Logitech mouse? He's not worthy. Well, guess what? I bought the mouse. I'm fucking worthy. Yeah, this is not gonna be. Do your best and hope for the best. Did I did I say that out right? No. Yes. The fuck did I just say? The logic goes that if you buy it, you can fix it. No, that is not the logic. Don't do it. You're gonna fuck up everything in your house. If you're not used to this kind of thing, I urge you not to do it, but this is pretty fucking straightforward. I mean, you can't fix your own mouse. You're a fucking pussy. All of us DIY guys know why we enter DIY. It's because of that dialogue in the beach. When Leonardo just enters the island and he sees that guy on the fucking wooden beam hammering stuff and says, can you make anything, Richard? Can you make anything with your hands? And that just made me feel like shit. Because I couldn't make anything with my hands. And that son of a diddly could. So I wanted to make something with my hand. And now I have a wood shop. And Bob's your auntie. This one's not on there perfect, but yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Now let's find out if she chooses to the bat cave. Holy shit. It works. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I cannot believe I fixed that. Wow, okay. Yeah, so yeah, this can be done. This is, yeah, you can fix this. Well, time to give her away because we have its bigger, better looking brother now. Uh, to all the guys that are gonna say, hey man, you're copying Ave and his, the way he talks. Listen man, I fucking love Ave, okay? And I'm not trying to copy him or anything. Uh, flattery is the best form of imitation or yeah, Bob's your auntie. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, please check out Abe's channel. I'm leaving the link in the description. Keep your dick in a vice. Keep your stick on ice. Keep your hoo-ha rattler in your bedside table. These are my gripes, man.